Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another installment of The Now Review. It's a theme that we've definitely explored here on The Now Review before, but we're going to see if it's been updated enough. It is this, now, that's what I call, country. So, for anyone unfamiliar, Now has done a country album before here in the UK. It was released, well, I think three or four years ago now. You can still get it. I think it's still pretty readily available, though maybe not now that this has come out. The country albums, I think, are a much bigger thing for American Nows. I've seen, like, Country Christmas, Country, like, Volume, like, they've got their own numbered series or something. It's much bigger over there, but hey, we like our country too, so let's see what we've got on here. We've got, like, an orangey yellow title, which is all right, yeah, I guess. And look, Horses! Horses, it's the country, it's the, it's the wild west, yo. Like, I know horses are associated with the country, you know, but I, I don't know. This just feels like a very generic cover. And I mean, the last country release was just, you know, like wood paneling, so this is a bit more vibrant. But yeah, I don't know, this one, it just seems a bit bland to me. Here is your example of who's on here. The text is a bit hard for me to read with my eyesight at this distance I'm at, but I can see Liam Rhymes is on there, Shania Twain. You know, all the, all the people you'd you'd expect in on this sort of thing so just remember look out for these because they're in these new boxes the spines mine isn't thankfully but the spines can get so creased and so damaged so easily so just be careful for that one let's have a look at the all important track list shall we okay scrolling down here so i've just noticed on cd2 nothing breaks like a heart mark ronson and miley cyrus i know miley has her roots in country but is is it really a country song it's, i don't know and, and like dancing by kylie minogue I know I've jumped the gun there, but I mean, looking on um, looking on disc one, yeah, those those are more like country-based songs, I'd say, or stuff you'd expect. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just I keep flicking back to CD two. A lot of these are they are they country songs, really? I wonder if now is doing that thing where they say it's a certain theme, but then it's actually like not what you'd expect. Although I'm seeing some familiar country artists on here. I saw Kenny Rogers fleeing past my eyes. Liam Rhymes, like, there she is. Shania Twain. Uh, then the Ronstadt, yeah, Johnny Cash, all, you know, these, there are some people you'd expect on here, for sure. Just going down CD3 and CD4 now, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not really saying much, country isn't honestly my forte as a drama, I know some country artists or some songs that are identified as that as well, I mean, look, Billy Ray Cyrus, Achy Breaky Heart on CD4, track 3, I mean, that is the, one of the most iconic country songs ever, and yet it's on CD4, that seems a bit odd to me, they haven't broken it down in a very useful way. I suppose this time this is really for you guys just to look at the track list just to see who's on here because again a lot of these songs I'm either not familiar with or I don't really enjoy that much. I say I'm not really a country buff as it goes in the music scene. But I notice there's a song there called D-I-V-O-R-C-E, Divorce. I'm sure that'll be a very interesting listen for sure. But in total on here, right, you've got four CDs, 20 tracks on each, meaning yes, it is another 80 track album, similar in the lines of Now Decades of Love and Now 70s Glam Pop. Right, if we open it up, oh look, speaking of, there you go, Now Decades of Love and 70s Glam Pop are available. They've ditched Snapchat, but you can follow them on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as I do. And there's the um, textless cover. I mean, that, you know, it's a nice vista, horses running and stuff, but it just... Again, I don't know what it is. I don't know if anyone agrees. It just feels very generic, if generic's the word. It's just very, very bland. Very bland indeed. And we've gone with, this seems to be the style we're going for, you know, in the future. Just sort of the, this like almost vinyl-esque sleeve thing they're going for, which is fine. I mean, it's obviously done, I've, I'm still convinced it's done as like a cost-saving measure, which does make sense. You know, we've all got to cut costs rather than put it in more expensive packaging. Obviously, in the old CD fat boxes, it's more it's more plastic waste as well. Seems like all the discs are red. Okay, at least they're all uniformed. I'm surprised they're not a different color or anything. But yeah, I'd say going forward, just be careful with how you store these, because whilst it is a cost-saving measure for now as a company, and this is fine, but for us, I don't know, as I say, like the spines now can get very, this one isn't, but they can get very easily creased and yeah you just i think with these albums you just got to be really careful how you store them now but ultimately is this album worth for you well again i must apologize i haven't given much commentary on the actual tracks because country is not an area i'm too familiar with but i'd say i mean it's pretty obvious if you don't like country music then this is probably one you should stay away with i will i am looking forward to listening to this to sort of go through the tracks and i always love discovering new music or music i haven't heard of and i think i did that with the first country album 
You'll have to let me know in the comments if the correlation of tracks from that album to this album is similar or if there's a big difference because I'm honestly not sure. However, if you do like country music, then you can definitely pick this up. I think on some retailers online, it's only $9.99. In supermarkets, it's a little bit more expensive, although I've noticed the CDs are becoming a bit harder to find in supermarkets. A lot of them are changing up their media stocks, like they're really reducing what they're stocking. That's partly due to the pandemic, which is understandable. Essential things have to come first. But yeah, so it's getting harder to find it in supermarkets, but there's always the online retail as well. But is it superior? Well... I mean, I think you are, you're obviously getting more tracks because there's one extra CD, so maybe in terms of variety, but I think if you want to be really nitpicky, if you can only go for one, I think it's best if you drag up both track lists online, scroll down and, and see which one fits your tastes better. But that is all for this installment of The Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please remember, leave that like down below. It really helps out the channel. And let me know in the comments, are you going to pick up this album, or is this one, if you're not a country fan, is this one you're definitely going to avoid? Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, it really helps us out. And until the next one, I shall see you guys next time. <laughs> I fell over. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show. And a special thank you to Macra, Hooks Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kit Sumanoid, Tobos Kratz, and Polsky Liz, our AMTV staff members.